My name is Alex, and me and my coworkers, Elizabeth and Jesse, which you will meet later, are going to teach you about radiation safety. At this clinic, you need to pass our radiation safety training in order to start working with the x-ray equipment. Every year, you need to pass a radiation safety test to continue working with the equipment and also as a good reminder how to properly and safely use radiation equipment such as the x-ray machine. Hi, my name is Jesse, and I am here to talk about monitoring the amount of radiation that you come in contact with. This is a dosimeter badge. This will keep track of the amount of radiation you come in contact with. You can send the information taken into this badge out and get your reading sent back to you. I will now talk about how to limit your exposure to radiation. As you can see, I have a lead vest that covers my whole body. Make sure you are strapped in. Hold tight. And make sure your thyroid shield is placed around your neck to protect your thyroid. To help protect your hands, you will wear these lead gloves to protect you from scatter radiation when you are near the beam. Another great thing to remember is to always position yourself to be as far away from the beam as possible. Hold your patient from here, not here. Last but not least, Always remember to protect your eyeballs using these goggles. Secure them over your head. And always remember, when taking an x-ray, do not look straight into the beam. Hi, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm going to be talking about some emergency situations that can happen. Elizabeth is now taking an x-ray. Hey guys, what you doing? Oh no, Jessie just walked in the room because she didn't know that there was an x-ray going on. Elizabeth, how could we have prevented this? We could have had a sign that said, we're going to do an x-ray and that nobody should come inside. Let everyone know. In case of a fire, make sure to have a fire extinguisher at hand at all times, but make sure it's not expired. Jessie, I'm pregnant. What should I do about working around the x-ray machine? Alex, you should speak with your employer about what extra precautions you need to take. And if all else fails, don't forget to call 911. Control assessments are an important way to make sure everything in the clinic is in working order. To make sure that our lead equipment is up to standard, we must lay them on the table and x-ray them. Thank you, Elizabeth. We x-ray them to make sure that there are no cracks in the lead that radiation can get through and potentially get to our bodies. Another example of quality control, like <laughs> Elizabeth mentioned earlier, making sure the fire extinguisher is not expired so that it is in working order when we need to use it. Also, outside of this room, Radiation could possibly get out there if the walls aren't lined properly with lead. We can keep a dosimeter badge outside to measure how much radiation is escaping from this room and potentially reaching people who are not in the x-ray room. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed our video about radiation safety. Radiation doesn't have to be scary as long as you wear the proper equipment. Now get out there and show them what you got. To keep my employees educated while they are still working at the clinic with me, I'm going to require that every year they pass a quiz to update them. <laughs> Are 
make sure you are strapped in so it doesn't fall off. This is broken, that's why. <laughs> Yeah, that's... 